Have you ever seen time go backward? Don't blink. A woman was washing dishes. She just turned to speak to her daughter. When she looked back, she was stunned. The plate had disappeared. All the furniture had turned black. The room looked like it had been burned. Even weirder, her daughter was gone. The woman was clueless. She called out for her daughter. Suddenly, a baby's cry was heard. Opening the door, she was baffled. Oh my god. Her six-year-old daughter had turned into a baby. She grabbed her daughter and ran out, then curiously looked at the building. Like magic, the daughter in her arms was back to her old self. What just happened? Soon, the police arrived. They started examining the area. They found it odd. There were signs of burning, but no spark. Strangest of all, while the daughter went from six years to a baby, the mother hadn't changed at all. After investigation, they found that, five years ago, there was a similar flood here. Had time gone backward? Some thought it wasn't logical, but they were soon proven wrong. Some youngsters were driving past some tracks. Suddenly, a train appeared in front of them. They quickly got out of the car. The sight before them left them in shock. The train was disappearing section by section. Just as Olivia and others prepared to approach, Peter somehow transported to the scene. Completely confused, a colleague approached him. Peter asked, How did I get here? The colleague replied, By car, on the way back. Just as Peter started to speak, it seemed he had experienced time travel too. Higher-ups investigated and found that the track had been abandoned five years ago. Strangely, overnight, the car became rusty. Peter touched it lightly and easily made a hole in the shield. He tried to tell his colleague, but as he reached out, he was back in the car. It all happened so naturally. Here's a magical dome. A man walked in it. And in a second, he felt weird all over. Before he could call for help, the poor man vanished into thin air. Just an hour ago, Kate had filled a blackboard with formulas. This formula was the key to time travel. While Kate was busy, her husband, Raymond, kept checking his watch. Suddenly, a pencil broke. Raymond immediately replaced it, as if he knew it would happen. He asked his wife, have you figured it out? Kate replied, almost there. Raymond checked his watch again. Only a few seconds left. He slowly leaned in to kiss his wife. Next moment. She vanished. Raymond calmly put down his cup and found Kate. Now, she sat in a wheelchair with a blank look, motionless. Raymond handed her coffee, but she asked in panic, Who are you? Turns out, she had Alzheimer's. Raymond used her formula to build a time machine. He sent Kate back five years. But sadly, each trip only lasted 47 minutes, and he didn't realize the chaos he caused outside. Finally, the police traced it back to him. A cop entered and instantly vanished because the bubble's time was 2016 and outside, it was 2021. A five-year difference. Anyone entering would vanish. To shut down the machine, you'd need to wear a magnetic shield. Meanwhile, Kate, who traveled again, found out what Raymond had done. They argued. Raymond finally told her about her Alzheimer's, asked her to write down the formula solution so Kate could live five years ago forever and never forget herself. Meanwhile, in a tunnel, the time machine caused a bigger problem. A time bubble blocked the tunnel, and on the other side was the vast ocean. As a man took pictures, water from the bubble began to flood out. People panicked and fled. With time running out, they needed to shut down the machine. So, Peter wore the magnetic shield, crossed the caution tape, and turned on the shield. His arm hair stood on end. He slowly reached in, then pulled back, making sure it was safe. He went in. Luckily, Peter was fine. He carefully approached the basement, but Raymond knocked him out. Luckily, Raymond didn't want to hurt him and continued arguing with Kate. Peter woke up, told them about the disaster outside. Hearing this, Kate agreed to shut down the machine, but she asked Peter to spare her husband for the greater good. Peter agreed. Raymond turned off the machine with tears. Kate smiled like she was saying goodbye forever and vanished in the tunnel. The water vanished. Everything was back to normal. Raymond wanted to save his wife's formula, but it was all destroyed, except for a page with Kate's words. After watching this movie, I felt deep emotions. The husband became a devil for his wife, ready to destroy the world. But the wife gave up her husband for the world. Perhaps, that's the nature of love. Love is instinctive, without right or wrong. 